Hi everybody, this is Bupina Tube. Today I want to show you how to create AutoCAD drawing using layout. Okay, this is a very simple drawing. It doesn't have to be this, it can be anything, just as an example. So, right click on the model, then go from template, then uh, this location is here, and then you go to the sheet sets, and then you go to any one of them it's up to you which one you want to choose i'll go for manufacturing then it's the name is given click ok it creates us a new kind of layout we go to that new layout it's already got the title block and the border which which is what we want now what we have to do is to change our layer to viewport but you can't do it because it's frozen so you need to first unfreeze it and then change it to the viewport okay and I have another video how to create this layer viewport but it's just like any other layer it's easy to make a new layer yeah once you've done that we need to go to the layout in the layout we need to go to the rectangular again it can be polygonal or object then we draw the size of a rectangle that we want our viewport to be okay you can select anywhere just as a try okay we select and it picks up what's there in our model and it fits quite all right but I want to make two different viewports first I want it to be one-to-one -one for this a bit more detail uh, drawing so I go to the viewport select it and you can see here the, the scale it doesn't make much sense so i'll go here and select one to one you can also customize your scale but i suggest you try to stick with what's there don't become too creative so go one to one and you can see it's a bit odd so what you got to do is to change your model or working space to paper space then you you have access inside it then you can move it down and fit it quite right you can see it's a bit not visible from this side so you need to go back to the model space then select the border and a bit extend it on not too much until it fits perfectly inside this square once you're happy with it that now we can go and bring the other view for that we need to create another viewport by going to rectangle again and let's select these two corners and we want, this was a scale of one to one but i want to make this a scale of one to four that means it's four times smaller than the actual size so what you have to do is to select this viewport then you, you see this actually the scale that's there then you go any of them but i want to go one is to four one is to four and i want it only show the bottom bit not both what i have to do here is again to change my space and move my drawing a bit up so you will get rid of the top one and i see that it's not located really nice there so i again change select the viewport bring it a bit lower maybe even center here and this is extra so you can make it smaller like that and you can you still have space to put more viewports so we don't some people don't like this uh, grid line so you can get rid of this grid lines pretty easily um, by sele selecting it and you just select the model space and then you press this and you get rid of that grid line and you do the same with the other one and now we got rid of both Oh, accent and move so control Z back to that one to one is still there before missing anything more just change your space back so we got here 
now you can see we got borders we don't really want borders so if I go to plot and preview you will see these lines which we, it just looks ugly so what we got to do here close this to get rid of the border is really simple we need to go to the layer layer that we were and turn off light bulb the, not the light bulb sorry freeze it turn off turn off the sun so it can't be done because it's a current so it's first change to another layer and now you could just go and turn it off and now it's where it is yeah now we are almost done with this uh, obviously fill this revision the current date is already picked up the scale you need to also add that this is one to four this is okay one to one and the revision and stuff you know how to fill it but next thing is the plotting plotting stage so you go on the plotting thing and here you can choose different plotter names you can choose the different setups and I want to go with the monochromic so I select monochromic I prefer always that the layout to be selected you can do select extend display or a window where you want the scale to be one to one and and this is the drawing size ISO expand a3 again you can choose different sizes according to what you want and once you're you think you're okay you can click layout just one for the last time you can click on preview to see whether is it really look the way you want if you're happy with the way it looks all you need to do is just click on the print button here and it wants to create a dwg file for you and you can go anywhere and just uh, save it change the name whatever once you save it your dwg file is created and it's ready to go again you could also create a PDF by going to PDF high quality that's what I like then ISO a3 selected and then you can preview it it looks all right and then you can do the same print and now you can see PDF so you can just save it same place so PDF is also created at the same time and this is how the PDF looks like yeah it looks really good I'm really pleased with it back to the drawing I guess you get the gist of how to do it now and you can manipulate the things the way you want just a bit more on the layout layout tab is really important when you're in layout and you can go and set up the page you can change the page so in the page setup select new call it let's say call it page setup one okay and now we can select different things we go with uh, let's go with this one I can't it's the setup name is setup one these are other parameters you can change the quality if you want it to be maximum for example the size obviously changing to maximum would take more space the file will become bigger whether you want it to be upside down or the portrait the scale and all that nice setup you can set up and that's your creation here setup one so now if you go to plot again you can see now I got this setup one which I can select to kind of ease the process to make the process faster and you see this is what I changed and that's it guys again preview and lovely it's as easy as this guys to create your own drawings in AutoCAD I hope you enjoyed following this tutorial I got lots of other tutorials on AutoCAD which you can find in the description of this video I created a playlist I hope to see you again in my next video in AutoCAD tutorials or many other tutorials on different applications that I've got. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.